Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about the Indiana University sorority rush process and walking you through each different round, giving tips, and just my overall experience rushing at Indiana University. So I hope you guys like it. Um, to start off today at 3 p.m. we meet with our Rogue Gammas and what's your Rogue Gamma, if you don't know, is a um, woman who's in a sorority and she will lead you in your group through the entire process. Um, so my group is my floor in Briscoe and my rogue gamma's name is Natalie. She will be leading us through the entire process and giving us tips and we can, she'll be there if we need any questions asked or basically whatever we need, we ask her. And so that's your rogue gamma. So we're meeting with our rogue gamma's today at three and we will probably get our shirts for tomorrow and just learn about anything we need to know for the whole week. And then the rush process starts tomorrow, bright and early at eight. We just got back from seeing our rogue gamma. We got a little survival bag with our shirts and some hair ties and some mints and stuff. And an inspirational quote. Yeah. I'll read it. There is no comparison between the sun and moon. They both shine when it's their time. Woo! <laughs> and so now we are going to get our canned goods and then go to our orientation meeting. So today is the open invite day. We woke up at 6.30 because the first round starts at 8.30 and we got ready. Today we have to wear our shirts they gave us and then most pants, so I'm wearing like some green pants, some shoes, trail neck, scarf. Maddie's wearing her shirt, black jeans, boots. So today is the open invite round, which means that between today and tomorrow, we visit all uh, 22 houses and we're there for 30 minutes each talking to the girls. Wish us luck. Walking to the first house, easy D. Everyone looks pretty. Well, it's a lot of girls. <laughs> so we just finished the first day of open invite. We went to 12 houses out of the 22. We spent like 30 minutes at each one and the conversations, you, like at first you're standing outside the house and I'm gonna be honest, for each one outside, you stand there I'm for like so cold. 15 minutes outside each house, just waiting for the That's next the worst party the to start. Thing. Yeah, so the waiting around is the worst part, but then as soon as the time hits for the party to start. As soon as. they We do a little countdown from 10, and then they start banging on the doors and doing their chants. And then you walk in, and then a girl immediately grabs you and takes you somewhere to sit. And then you talk to her for about like, usually like 10 minutes, and then a girl will come yeah, and like, come and like we'll leave her and some then... of them it's like two switches and then some it's like five yeah so it just it depends on how many girls you talk to like just various house to house and then um sometimes you sometimes, will yeah, sometimes you have to be with someone else yeah sometimes it's like you and another pnm both um being double rushed by one that's girl in the my house favorite situation um but mainly you're talking about like it's like what's your name what's your hometown major what's your major and then some other basic information it's not like it's well, not like a lot of the in depth. The houses info. that like you like the best probably are the ones where like your conversation goes beyond went yeah. just what's your name, what's your home. And that happened to be in like five houses. But so basically, like that's the open invite round, and it's now past seven. We've been up for over twelve hours, and we are and tired. Gonna get hungry. some food, and then gonna go to sleep until tomorrow's round. We do it all again. All again. Open invite day two. I got the shirt again. We have to wear it both days in a row. Wear a little flannel because you have to, and then a jacket because you have to show the shirt still. Pants, combat boots, and it's gonna be raining today, so we're bringing our umbrellas. Here we all go. Walk out with our umbrellas because it's really rainy. It's raining. And it's kind of cold and windy. But it's okay. We love it. Yeah, and I was like, you mean I don't remember honestly today? I'm sorry. And I was like, I'm just kidding. Um, so we just finished the second day of the open invite round and we just spent the last like hour downstairs and we met with a row gamma one-on-one -on -one and ranked our top 16 in no particular order and then the bottom six from um what you would want to go to back the most to your least favorite so let's say i get back 10 of my top 16 then anyone from the bottom that want me back will go up to the top and i'll visit them tomorrow for the philanthropy round so that's pretty exciting. So today is the philanthropy and service round. And this means we go back to as many chapters that called us back yesterday. So not if, if not all of our 16 called us back, then some of them are bottom will go up. But it's not common to get all 16 back. So either today we may go to up to eight and then tomorrow up to eight. And for this round, 
we talk about their philanthropy and get more um, in depth with them. But um, here's our outfits for the today. I have my sweater. And it said like wear a sweater and jeans or anything you'd wear to like a nice family dinner. So I put it over a dress with some tights and my boots. And then here's Maddie's outfit. Oh. A cute sweater wondering. with her jeans and her boots. We're ready for the day. And we're both excited because we both have a um, party to go to the first round, which is an exciting text. Yeah. We don't have our lists yet, so we're nervous to get those soon. This is me running from North Road into Third Street. What is this? Why do three buses pass me and not stopped? I have 10 minutes to make it there. We're running. A 35 minute walk across campus. Update. I have to stop running. I have a cramp. I'm by DG. And I think I have like six minutes to get there. Oh my god. Girls don't rush. I'm kidding. Rush, but it probably doesn't rain. Now, the second day of the philanthropy service round. So here's my outfit for the day. The same theme as yesterday. Something you'd wear to a nice family dinner. Sweater, leather leggings, boots. So, Maddie's already gone. She had her houses uh, earlier this morning, but I don't have mine until right now. About to go. Actually, before I go, I'm gonna tell you guys some tips for this round. So, you're on your own this round, and that seems a little stressful, but like actually, it's okay as long as you are on time. Like, you wanna make sure you do not miss a round or else you're released from recruitment. So big deal. So make sure you're always on time to a round. However, you can't get there more than 30 minutes early. So get there about like 20 minutes early so then you can start lining up, get your numbers. Because you have to be in, you're always numbered in a single file line and you have to be in line with your number check in before the round starts. And the rounds always start at the exact time that they're supposed to, which is pretty nice because then you get to go inside. It's usually cold out. But um, so just get there right on time and make sure you're not late. And I would... If it says to use the bus, use the bus. But if you if the buses are full, you need to start walking or sometimes running to the next one so you make it there on time. Yesterday I had to run and that was unfortunate, but that happens to a lot of people. It's not uncommon. So you just need to do what you can to get to the next one before the round starts. So last night we finished the philanthropy and service round and we ranked with our row gamas again one-on-one -on -one, and we ranked our top nine and then our bottom seven from the ones we want to give back the most to the least and if you had less than 16 then you ranked your top nine and then your bottom however many you had left so we did that last night and now we have to wait until friday to get our list back which is pretty stressful everyone's pretty kind of worried and don't really know what you're going to get back but yeah we find that out friday night when the sisterhood round starts and nervous, excited, but just gotta think positive about it. <laughs> You'll get in the one you're supposed to get in. It's just what you gotta keep thinking. So the point of making this vlog was to tell everyone the true backgrounds of the recruitment process and be honest about it so everyone knows how to, what to expect. And I'm going to tell you right now, be very honest, it's hard, it's heartbreaking, you cry a lot, it hurts your self-esteem, and it just makes you feel awful about yourself, which this sounds really great, <laughs> but everyone says in the end it'll work out, so that's what I'm relying on, everyone says trust the process, so that's what I'm going to keep doing. Tonight's the first night of the um, sisterhood round, and I don't have a house to go to. Kind of sad, but that's just how it works out. And tomorrow I'm going to go to my houses and be myself. Hopefully everything goes fine and we'll see how it all turns out. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say, like, this is an easy thing. Like, it's fun. Like, it's hard. And it makes you sad. <laughs> but hopefully it all turns out in the end. A lot of people say, like, 
you don't get your first choice but it ends up being your first choice once you're in the sorority so I'm relying on that and I hope everyone that watches this video knows that you may not get your first choice you may not even get your second choice but the houses know their house better than you know it so they know if you're gonna be a good fit there and if they don't ask you back then they know that you want to be happy there so you just gotta rely on that and accept that the houses are gonna call you back if they think you'd be happy and so this is what you gotta trust and hopefully it all turns out in the end so I'm hoping tomorrow goes well for my one of my houses that I like and I'll keep you guys updated so today was the second day of the sisterhood round and in the whole sisterhood round you can go up to nine parties and each round is 55 minutes long during this round you typically like go in and the sisters in the house will um do like a little show like a little video of theirs they may like read um, letters to each other they may sing a song and you really just like start to feel the connection between the girls in the chapter and then you go one-on-one -on -one again and talk and get like it's more deeper conversations with them and then at the end of the round you will rank your top two in your bottom seven um this is leading into the prep night which is tomorrow for the sisterhood round the outfits you're supposed to wear or like a really um professional like dressy outfit so i wore like a blouse and then it's overalls a lot of girls are wearing skirts or dresses tights anything that's really formal and it's supposed to look classy though and so i chose a this oh and heels or flats or booties any of the three work so today is preference round day and you can go up to two houses and each round is an hour and 15 minutes long and it's the last round so it will be the most deep and you have to really decide if you think you'll click with the girls and you'll fit in with the sorority. So we're going to show you our outfits. Maddie's outfit right here. Yeah, they look very fancy for this one. So she got a cute tights. Oh, show the back. Earrings <laughs> match. Really cute. Here's my outfit. It's cocktail dresses you're supposed to wear and I have black heels. Yep. So tonight is finally midnight. And Woo! and we're so excited to get our bids tonight. Um, on Friday was preference round, and at the end of preference round, we ranked from our last two. And um, most people wrote down their top one and their second one, and you're guaranteed to get one of those two bids, whichever house asks you back. Um, however, I did something called single intentional preference, which isn't recommended, but I did it because there was one house I really wanted, and I was set on that house so i actually got a call yesterday that said go to bid night so i'm excited because that means i am definitely getting the house that i put my single intentional preference for and maddie's excited because she doesn't know which one she's getting but she knows she likes them both Okay, my tips are, one, ask the interviewer questions, so then you don't have to talk about your major, because that's kind of a boring conversation. 
My recruitment tip is to not get sad when you don't get back the chapters you don't like because and I started crying a lot, but now I love the chapter that I got to be in too. <laughs> so yeah, just don't get sad, get glad. Call your mom because she <laughs> probably knows what she's doing more than you do. Um, just because you didn't click with the chapter at first doesn't mean you won't in the end. Have fun. Yeah, and make sure your GPA is up going great right into recruitment. So here's some last tips before this video ends. Uh, first, make sure that you take notes after every chapter and your rogue game will tell you this, but all the chapters will start to mesh together after you see them all because there's 22, which is so many. So take notes after every chapter, like who you talk to, what you felt about the house, like rate it one through 10, yes or no, something like that. Um, Cause you wanna look back and remember when you're rating them. Um, you may have to run to different houses and that's completely okay. Um, just remember that you want to be there on time. Um, never speak poorly about yourself or about someone else in an interview because that shows bad on your part and you never want to talk bad about yourself in an interview. This is kind of common sense, but don't do that. Um, always be yourself because you can only find a home and a, a chapter that you will fit into if you are being completely yourself. You don't want to have to fake it all the time in a sorority. So make sure you're always yourself and keep an open mind. Your favorite chapters will change after every single round like your favorite chapter from um round open house open round will um be different by prof rounds completely um also talk to your rogam she's there for a reason and ask her lots of advice and don't discuss with others because this is your personal experience and you don't want to to be affected by what others are thinking about chapters and how you're thinking about chapters because it's all your preference